Right, Michael, where are we off to today? Heading up to uh, my murals. Um, I think there's three of them. There's actually there's four of them, you know, but one of them's there, uh, there to say of a good bit away, sorry. Um, so we'll go to the three which are close together. One where I look like Triple G, and then the other two would actually look like me, so we'll, we'll go and see them now. Are we, are we going to visit them in order of when they were done, or not? I oh, we can go, we can see, actually, we know, the way you walked in, they are in order, so, um, I will go and see them. Sure I can't we, believe there's three. There's actually four, so. What? There's four, but there's one, the ones in a uh, different part. You've got four murals, have you? <laughs> there's, the, the three are of me, just, just me, and then there's one where I'm in a different mural with other people. Oh, okay. It's still in, in like, boxing kind of form, but. How um, many of Paddy here? I think he's he's got two two or three. So you're, you're leading the way though, before. I'm leading the way now, four, so all good. Alright. All right. So yeah, explain to us where we are now. It's the street I grew up in, Cavendish Street. Um street where the first mural was kinda of done. Just the opposite here anyway, so two feet away you wanna take a spin around and look at it there, it's just right there now, so so, it, this was done after London, uh, London 2012. Um, yeah, I drove in the street and have a fucking clue what was happening. <laughs> then I've seen this here on the wall and I was like, fuck me. So usually people who have murals are dead and shit. So I'm just thinking I'm still alive. Right now, what's happening? I think I'm still alive and I've got a mural now. So it's, this is us here now. So. All right, let's have a look. Triple G. And they've, they've drawn on my rosary beads, and it must have been at the time I had a, I, I had an earring in. Look at this, terrible. Um, Olympic, Olympic uh, medal around me as well. So it's not bad. Like street you grew up in, knowing you had you're on the wall. It's like people in the streets named after. I have a mural drawn on the wall. So this was the first one that was done. It's the first one that was done. And there's four. We'll see three of them today. So. Uh, this is the first one. So who was the, the artist that did this one? Marty Lenz, he actually lives two doors down. D didn't you ever say to him about the whole Golovkin thing? Or? Nah, because at the start I was like, ah, it's class. Uh, the longer it went and the better, one, better ones has been done. It's like, it's great what's happening. The better ones has been done. It's like, I can't really say to him now. I didn't say to him at the start, so. But they're all right. Listen, I'm, I'm delighted with it no matter what. You know, it's, still, it's, it's still me, even though it, it doesn't look like me. <laughs> it's still me. It's where you've got older as well, and obviously. It is, uh, probably look like I had a haircut like that as well, so. Um, it's still very good. I do look like a mixture of Khabib and, uh, and Golovkin. Right so, there. how far did you grow up from around this street here? Five minutes. Five in this minutes. Street, I lived in this street. Oh, you lived in this, this street? street it's my street here. Not this one up the way, like the one going down the way. It's me, uh. So, um, Who lives there now? My cousin. Oh really? My cousin, so, so I, I think I, she, she lives there, right? she definitely does. So how long have you not lived in that house? Since I was, uh, what am I, 27 now, since I was 21, I moved out of my own house. You still go back there, and obviously if it's your cousin? Not really? No, not really, never really, I don't know. I drive past the other time and see how hard, hard the house is. I think I lived there for 21 years of my life, you know what I mean? Just um, lived there for 21 years of my life, so, you know, it's, it's nice to always go back. What kind of area around here? It's rough enough. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I think it's quiet out there now. Like, most of the place is quiet out there, but it was rough enough growing up. Um, this street was actually an orange street, you know, we had good neighbours, good people around us, so, um, very, very close in the community. Was it one of these streets where, like, everyone literally knew everyone? It was like street parties every year, you know what I mean? So it was like everybody knew everybody, right? Yeah. yeah. So, it was a, a very, uh, tight knit community, as I said. But I've just, I've, I've only been here for like literally five minutes, but I've seen everyone literally walk past that kind of like, ah, it's Michael Cullen. Nah, it's just, uh, this is where I'm from, so everybody kind of knows me and, and you know, they'll always say, all right, yeah, anyway. And, and that's why, like, it, even when I go anywhere else in the world, if, it, if it's not like, if people just don't like walk past and go, all right, you know, I, I, I find them ignorant. <laughs> so it was weird, like, I, I like, I like people to be kind of out there and, and saying hello and stuff even I, I would do it as well to myself walking past someone with a catch I was on the score right to and walk on so um, that's the way people are right here it, it's mad to think really kind of 
kind of it's not mad, but your popularity here is kind of really based on your amateur career. That's what uh, it is. Yeah, because you, you haven't made your mark as a pro yet. No, definitely not. Everything here is based not based on what I've done the amateur one hundred percent. And you know, kind of where people see me going as a pro. So there's there's a lot of hope behind me and a lot of uh, good will behind me, and, and that's something I'm very proud of. Added pressure or thank you, Fryer? Nah, no, nah, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even say added pressure. You know, I think it's 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 just it's nice. Um, something definitely it, it helps you thrive on and gives you kind of inspiration. So it's not it's not pressure. Should we walk over to the next one? Walk, How far is it? See what that yellow wall is. That's where it is. Yeah. Down there. All right. It's facing that. We're getting cab. No, you don't need to phone this. <laughs> You're not going to be able to wait, but are you? Oh, I'll just keep it rolling, like cut it in and out. It's even talking as well. You see, most of the murals are all like this one isn't. They're all like you know, Republican murals and stuff, and, and and that one's not though. But the other, most of the other ones on there in are, and everybody on them is dead. Probably the only person in the murals around here who's alive, so it's good. But do you need to have permission to do this? No. Whoever. They just paint walls. What? On that, know what I'm proud of? See on that wall before me. Yeah. It was bloody Henrik Larson from Celtic. Oh really? So I got I took over Henrik Larson. I was like, the man taking over the legends of legends, the king of kings. The great player he was, Henrik Larson. So you got hang on, they got rid of Henrik Larson and put you on. Uh, Henrik Larson, he was the main the main picture. It was like Henrik Larson, Neil Lennon, Chris Sutton. I think it was Chris Sutton. Chris Sutton. But uh. It was good, it was good, it was like the dream team, the Celtic dream team, the one that was running the travels and all that. They got rid of all them? They got rid of all them for me. For Michael Conlon. So we're facing this here all night. Is your head too big? What is it on the left? Want to That one's a bit more kind of. That's uh, Mickey Williams's picture, and that was done by. You never bird on me. You stay. So. This is Oakland Street. This is the second match we've done. Come in, yeah, I'll smack in a watch out. Relax, that's. At 43rd Pernod's Vance, something. Did you take on all? I could indeed. I could indeed. I could. So, this was the second one done by uh, Mickey Williams. Well, the picture was from Mickey Williams and uh, a local artist. I didn't cut this better because I don't know his name. A local artist done it. Yeah. So, uh, this one, uh, this one, I like this one because when you're driving up Come the street. Come out the road a little bit because I'm worried. When you're driving up the street, it's like, you know, stirring it, you're giving the big dirty looks. So it's, it's, it's a good one. Like, I like that it one. It looks like you should be on like a Nike advert or something. Yeah, uh, uh, it's very good. Uh, I'm really, I'm really happy with this one. So. A bit more. <laughs> I should have really have thought, like, literally, yeah, why wouldn't everyone here know you, obviously? Did see your third one? Yeah. So the third one isn't a painting. What it is is like a sheeted like tin metal. And all obviously it's no all the holes you can put in it and it looks from from if you're probably starting close, probably wouldn't look like anything. But uh from a distance it looks like me obviously, so well not from a distance, from like two foot away it looks like me. So it's uh this is on my my old amateur box club. It wasn't here. This is their new club, their new facility, yeah. and they've uh, decided to pop me on it. Hopefully the gates open so we can get in. So we can get to that. There's a reason it's almost training time. And what times? What days are they? Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Training. Training's half five, six o'clock. So should be open. Do you ever see yourself kind of situating yourself out of Belfast, like full time? Well, uh, I don't live in the city now. I live just outside Belfast. Um, it's it's quieter, it's bigger houses. It's, uh, but you still it's, have kind of you still come here. I'm here every day. You're here every day, yeah. I'm in Belfast but wait, I mean, I don't think there's 
But I'm, even where I'm living now, I, even, I don't think there's going to be a time where I'm not in Belfast. Yeah. I'm going to be but when you're in camp, I'm, obviously you are where you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm but, in Epsom. And it's, uh, it's uh, far from Belfast, you know, it's not like Belfast. Everybody's going to beat porn because of what they want and then street with a camera, you know what I mean? Everybody wants, a, wants on camera. Well, anyone's welcome to uh, jump in, obviously. Would you rather get this much attention walking down here? Um, I'm not too sure. Probably would. Yeah, you would, I he's, think. Yeah. He's, he's, he's loved around here too. I'd get up in anyway, so maybe the boxing club, maybe go in anyway. This is it here. Oh. Hey, Lita. So, what age were you here? Um, I kind of came to this club when I was, so I went to the club first, the same club as Jamie and stuff, and, uh, and they said uh, I was too young to join. How old were you? I was like seven. seven. So I, I went and went, I came to this club. I came to this club, it's, it's open. This is it here. So we went to the there. Oh yeah. This is it. So this is the club. That's mad, let's just go close and you can kind of see it's been done through uh Oh yeah. They're all completely different pieces as well, aren't they? Which is like that was when I won the the world gold as well. That one. Yeah. So that's based on my amateur, isn't it? Hey lads, what's happening? Do you know Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy Yes, you're my brother. Yeah. Bush and all. Right. <laughs> it's not me. What? <laughs> it's not me. Come and say that. They said it's not Michael Cullen. Who's in? Which coach is in? Bender, tell them to come out. Bender, come out, come out. Did they say you're not? Oh, it's not Michael Cullen. Oh, it's not Michael Cullen. <laughs> Do you think that your teeth is... Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Uh, don't know what's happening. There's things. I'm just down showing Coogan all the murals and stuff, so... I thought I'd come around and show him this one. Yeah. You know yourself, we have seen... We have any that one done? That was only open. Wasn't they haven't seen that one? That wasn't done when I was here. Oh, Younger guys. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 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 Has it changed much since? This isn't the club I used to be in. Oh really? This is the, this is their new facility, um, the new club, and it's it's class. But when I when I actually came to the first corner gym, it was when it was only open, so it was brand new then. And then they've got a new club now, so it's so it's brilliant. I mean, it's so cool. We set up here. 
This used to be like, I forget what I said, this used to be like an old Obama kind of, you know, electric kind of place or something like that. Everybody used to be starting there getting high and doing drugs and that's a connection to me, boxing centre, so it's class. Good. That was Clannard was the club of foot. So I really first started boxing Clannard, even though I went to the first club I went to. And uh told me to go away. That was the first club which let me have my first fight and stuff. And then I have come back to the Deirdre Club because it was where Jamie and stuff was. Yeah. And that's where I wanted to be around. But then I ended up coming back to this club at the end of my career. The end of my amateur career. Is it like a plan of yours as your career goes on to kind of get back more involved with where you all started off? Or? I think so. I think it's kind of what every kind of boxer should hope to do is if you give, give back to the community, which gives so much to them. And, and this community has given so much to me. So the fact that I'm bringing a big show to West Belfast for, for these people, these are, the, these are the people who support me, who follow me all around the world. Thank you. Um, who support me all around the world. You know what I mean? So uh, if, I, if I'm bringing back and putting big shows and stuff in the, uh, back in the West Belfast, it's just helping, you know, everything here. You no know, jobs and stuff. Because the shows, people get people get work working on them shows. So yeah. um, if I can do little things like that, it'd be, it's amazing. Like, so for me, it's it's something that I, I, I'm really happy I'm able to do and something that I want. I want. I want to continue to do. I mean, I, I know it's a lot. Of, a lot. A lot of boxers do do it, but then there's some that kind of maybe have their own reasons why they don't uh, kind of uh, go back to where kind of it all started from. Uh, is this that one? That's. Uh, there is. There's always different reasons for, for things like that, but. If a community is good to you and, uh, and gives so much to you as, as a kid growing up, you know, hey, how's it going? Um, what, how, how hard is it to give something back? You know, I mean, it's not very hard just to do little things like, like, like what I'm doing. Yeah. Sick. What's that? <laughs> Gotta be careful if I don't people just laughing at my heart in a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> people will be probably worried if, if the camera's on them. <laughs> I think they're done. I'm trying not to film people. Uh, so, actually, I haven't seen this one. It's new. All good, how's things? My, my, my simple reply to people is how's things? That's it. Got to say hard things. Right, so that's three. And there's one more, but it's a good bit away, so. Oh, I Get think three for today's all right. Maybe we'll go back to the one near the time of your fight, so. The other, the other one doesn't, doesn't look too much like me either, so. Okay. Still good, but. It's good to know what it like. Your own community does have your back because some people turn their back in their community and their community turns their back on them, but or do bad things or nobody in the community likes. <laughs> but, but I'm not getting up. I've had a good, a good community around me, and this is this is it. Like, so I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to be back. That's us. Complete circle. Someone's definitely grown weed around here because it stinks. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that. Um, all right, well, listen, appreciate your time today. And uh, yeah, all eyes now for you, August the 3rd. Fair way away yet, but I'm sure it'll... 12 weeks. 12 weeks, 12 yeah. weeks but I'm sure it'll come around quicker than you I'm expect. I'm going to go to the mountains, cut, weight, cut, the, cut some wood, like, like Rocky did. You know, or Carl Frox does. Oh, he cuts wood, he does. Cuts like, trees down. Cuts trees down, so I'm, I'm going to go and do some Carl Frox slash Rocky training. And Carl Frox actually fought like Rocky, so... Um, I'm taking in punches of things, whereas uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs>
Uh, I'll just box, box someone's head off and then take them out. So. Michael Collin, thank you very much for uh, showing us around here today and talking to IFL TV and we'll definitely catch up with you ahead of August the 3rd. Failure. Yeah, got it. Got, got it, it right. Got it, right. Cheers, mate. Peace, okay.